Hello, my name is Alia Rahmat. I am the curator and participating artist in this show. And we are here at the Wounded Land Rumbles, the same ballad at Art Outreach. And here are my friends and participating artists. Hi, I'm Wan Oyin. Hi, my name is Saida. Hi, I'm Charlene. Hello, I'm Renee. We are all from NAFA, recent graduates from Fine Art Degree Program. I think it was the artist talk with Ila that we had in school that inspired the themes of this show of looking at alternative narratives and speculative histories. And so when we, me and Kenenza, another curator of this show as well, um, we were we keep talking about these themes and we also in our own personal practice as well we delve into these themes but in very different um, veins of it and so when we look back at our own cohort we realize that multi, like some of us have shared the same themes as well so that's how we kind of it was it, the starting point was really the talk with Ila that began this entire journey for us. How we picked the different stories, um, me and Kenenza wanted the exhibition, the overarching theme to be more Southeast Asian grounded, more culturally grounded in a sense. And in the class, um, we realised that these were the um, few picks that we had and they, were, they really matched up with the themes really well. Yeah. And I want to say for the title, uh, The Wounded Land, I think that it's such a beautiful way of conveying that like we inherit the wounds of our culture and our history. And I feel like wounds are something that needs to be tended to. It needs to be nurtured. And it is like our duty to um, give a voice to our respective lands and in that way, we facilitate this collective healing and in turn, like, make more conversations about inclusivity in our society. I think for this exhibition as well, it looks at the intersections of so many things like the sociocultural uh, language, ethnicity, and memory, and so much more. And we all have such a different varied way of working with that and I think it really comes together when you just walk through this exhibition and you see the take of each artist uh, the title really comes alive the title of my work is within the hijab and um, I deal with photography and I try to practice photography it is based on my personal experience but I think all of us influ has some sort of influence of self in our work of course and I think we're trying to find comfort with a certain practice or trying to find reasons and purpose and we, we're doing that through art and through um, in a way, I would say reaching out to more people as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. My work is titled A Child's Confessions. It's an installation of 20 uh, prose poetry writings on wooden stands. This is the second iteration of this work and they look at this idea of lives lived across borders and between borders and what that could mean and how big or small the differences are. So I've written these stories and it's in this sort of trail pathway where the viewers are able to walk within the installation. They're able to read and it kind of calls for this slowing of movement in reverberation to people's stories because uh, some of it is quite difficult to deal with and it goes back to a child's memories uh, or during that time you can enter through any point as well and the viewers are kind of called to draw parallels within each text my work is titled My Akong is Kimenis. So this work explores like um, themes like cultural hybridity, talks about like um, 
how like one links back to their own ancestral roots. So as a third generation Singaporeans, I I'm kind of like looking at like how to reconnect back to my um, culture ancestral hometown, and it's kind of like a journey to walk about in um, the hometown that my grandfather used to live in, and it kind of um, brings me back to um, the idea of like how cultural identity is fluid in today's like world context, since we are all like um, Singaporeans are like kind of like rolled up. My work is called Kagandahang Loob, which means beauty of will. I resonate a lot with Renee, with what Renee said because um, for me, in my personal experience, I grew up moving around a lot. I've always dealt with uh, these feelings of not fitting in with my environment, not like identifying with one culture, but multiple other cultures. And that really influenced the way I see the world and how it affects me in my daily life. For my work, um, it showcases the Filipino banig, which is like uh, the Filipino version of a tikar or a mat. Um, and I think that it's a wonderful like communal space that invites people in to sit down, to lay down. It's usually used for like sleeping or eating and talking. And it feels like home because it's very culturally specific. Um, you know, the act of sitting and then listening and talking. I think I want um, people to really experience the works. Um, like just have an open mind and come in and really bear the different cultures here that we have. Like um, for example, Charlene's audio, it's so, it's like very different even as a third person coming in. It's such an interesting experience and a very different experience compared to what I, in my culture, we have, right? And so I think because we have so many different themes and methods of interacting with the work, I just want people to come in and um, see how they naturally interact with these things and elements and kind of reflect on how they go about with the works here. Yeah. I think a takeaway from our exhibition is that there is this overarching theme of decolonization about, um, you know, going back to one's roots and, um, and also like bodily autonomy and all those kinds of things. I just want to say that the first step is reconciling with yourself and this is kind of all our ways of reconciling with like parts of ourself. I want the audience to take away that, you know, the first step is always within and yeah. All of us worked with a lot of different mediums, um, with sound, projection, um, video works, um, 2D works as well. And I think having all of these elements come together, it sort of gave uh, unity and a lot of variation it makes an exhibition interesting and interactive and yeah i think the overall setup for the exhibition and like um everything brings together so smoothly it's a very smooth sailing journey for us yeah we work together well yeah it was easy usually like installation periods is so stressful but this one was so smooth I was so chill and relaxed because of like like Hazel helping us out a lot and we have great artists that are very determined as well so everything just came in so nicely yeah except for like I mean the lights. The, the, lights. <laughs> the lighting was a bit tough lah because it's very high right <laughs> but that's it yeah like Rene handled it so well. I don't know if it's a challenge as such, it's more of that this is work that we have been working on for a really long time and coming into a new space and trying to work out how 
the navigation process of each artist's work would be, I guess, is how we had to, or the curators had to sort of figure out how the placement and the sound and how everything would co cohesively kind of work together is, I guess, not really a challenge, but something that had to be navigated. So an advice I would like to give to aspiring artists who want to, may want to explore similar themes is to be critical and to be very sensitive of um, and acknowledge people's experience and your own experience mm -hmm. and um, to understand the self and to really find a purpose and it's okay that um, if there is no solution to your question and I think that's the whole point of practicing and to this is the whole point of figuring out through art like yeah and to make connections yeah right to add on to Oyin's um, point I think it's also important to not just be critical of the world but also about your own personal biases and beliefs and to like um, be critical of where you get this embodied knowledge from why you think this type of things etc etc and um, see for yourself if it's something to work on or not one tip I might um, give to anyone will be like reading Reading helps a lot in opening up your knowledge on different perspectives on the teams that you are working with, not just like what um, the team that we are, all of us are working on, but more of like any other teams that you are interested in. It helps you bring in a new perspective on certain issues and it will be easier for you to brainstorm your ideas and make it to your reality work. Yeah. I think an advice I would give to artists that want to exhibit like similar themes, which I have no doubt that like it's such a common theme to want to f discover or explore your own like identity, whether it culturally or whatnot. Um, I think that making art is such a great way for you to rationalize and really comprehend these feelings and themes and that you should read and and write and like just you know jot jot down and just make it was a very smooth sailing journey everything came on um, very well um, yeah it really is very smooth sailing from the open call to the sub proposal submission to getting our keys to installation to right now in the middle of the exhibition everything just went very well <laughs> yeah. i think i learned about my friends practices more and because i'm not one to interact a lot in school i'm not one to talk a lot so it's an eye-opener and I get to understand and, and absorb different cultures and why people do certain things, why certain culture practices certain things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I learned a lot from that. I hope that this exhibition is not just the first but not the last as well, but more new stuff that is coming in the future that we can come together once again to hold another exhibition. Yeah, it would be nice. Yes, not just like the current, but the new and like more elaborated in the teams and the research. I think that this opportunity has opened up uh, more opportunity for collab because we get to find out more about each other's works and where it like intersects. Um, so yeah. We're kind of in the works. I'm actually kind of in the works of like looking at open calls and seeing where like I would fit in. So yeah. Um, I think we're all trying to navigate as fresh graduates what our kind of next step would be. And this was a perfect way to start it. And I think from here on out, we kind of have uh, a sense of what we can do where we can put ourselves out there um, yeah
I think our experience at um, putting our show at Art Outreach helps us uh, with interaction with the audience, which is brings like the artists and the audience closer together. And the audience are um, kind of like they, if they have some questions, they actually come out to any of our our artists here and check out a conversation about like how they think about the work and how they resonate back with their own experiences. Yeah, it's kind of like heartwarming to hear from like the audience perspective as an artist. Yeah.